this video, I replace a fuel shutoff solenoid on a Troy built Pony riding mower with a 17.5 horsepower Briggs & Stratton engine. This fix can be performed on any engine that has a fuel shutoff solenoid. I noticed when I was cleaning the carburetor that the fuel shutoff solenoid was stuck down. When the solenoid fails, it can fail in an up or down state. In the up state, the engine will run on starting fluid, but will not even sputter when running from the gas tank. In the down position, the engine starts and runs perfectly, but may backfire on shutdown. Okay, I'm using the word backfire loosely because that's all I've ever heard this called. True backfires are improperly timed fuel explosions that usually fire back through the carburetor or the intake, uh, which are very loud because they are not muffled by the exhaust or the muffler. In this scenario that I'm referring to here, the, it's a detonation that happens in the exhaust system uh, due to excessive fuel vapors. <laughs> so this can occur on some engines due to uh, the time it takes for the engine to shut down. While shutting down, fuel continues to enter the cylinder through the carburetor, even though the spark plug is no longer firing. Now, if enough vapors get into the hot exhaust, they can self-ignite and explode inside the exhaust. Uh, the first time that I heard this happen, I laughed. And the second time it happened, I lost hearing in one ear for several days. Now, this is an easy fix. It only costs a few bucks. Uh, I made a link to the replacement part that I bought for this particular engine. It's really easy to identify this part too. Uh, it sits, this particular model, it sits right on the bottom of the carburetor bowl and it'll be two wires going to it. First, I tested the wire to ensure that the solenoid was getting the right signal from the tractor. So when I turn the key on, the solenoid retracts, letting fuel into the engine. And the reverse happens when the key is switched off. So this proves that the wiring here is correct. So to swap this out, I'm gonna disconnect the fuel line from the carburetor and lift it up uh, to stop it from leaking. And this is necessary because we're gonna be taking this solenoid out of the bowl and that's gonna let the gas out of the carburetor. So I unscrew the fuel solenoid. This one has half inch flats and uh, collect the fuel in an appropriate container. So you can verify at this point if you don't have a replacement solenoid, if the one you have works by watching it contract and release when the key is turned on and off. So mine's stuck down. I know that, uh, so I didn't do that test here. So screw the new solenoid and reconnect the connector and that is it. Hope this worked out for you. See you next time.